right with the arrival of that G19 supercharger kit that you got a brief glimpse at in last episode, this means I can get on with part two of our M45 supercharger prep. Let's get on with it. All right, here is our MP45 supercharger as we left it in last episode in part one, uh, where if you remember, I fitted a cabs reduction pulley and changed the oil in the snout of the supercharger amongst other little jobs. Now, if you wanna see that video, by the way, click the link at the top of the screen right now. So anyway, in today's part, part two, it's all about getting the G19 inlet and outlet bolted to this thing before it gets installed into the engine bay of the Mazda. Okay, I'm going to start with the inlet side of things, which means first off, I need to remove the water pump takeoff at the rear of the supercharger. This is held in place by four 10mm bolts which need removing, so I'm going to stand the supercharger on its end in a vise, clamp it in there tightly, and get them out. So now those four bolts have been removed, I should just be able to give this cover a couple of gentle taps with the rubber mallet and then lift it off. Now there should be some oil behind here as well to lubricate the gears inside. So that's the cover removed and to my surprise it's absolutely bone dry in there so that oil must have leaked out at some point. Now it is the same grade of oil that I used in the snout of the supercharger and according to those instructions there should be about 45 millilitres of oil in here. So not much but definitely not nothing like I'm seeing here but it actually doesn't matter in my case because all this lot is redundant anyway so we don't need to put any oil back in here. So now we can get the G19 cover plate bolted down using the existing mount holes and the supplied fasteners. So I'm going to drop that in place, get the bolts in and get them nipped up with the Allen key. Right, now we can get the inlet itself installed and this is where the G19 kit is really nice for a number of reasons. The first being, there's an O-ring sat in a machine groove inside the inlet which seals nicely around the supercharger. And secondly, the inlet is secured in place using fasteners which fit directly into the water pump cover plate we just installed. So there's no need for any grub screws or copious amounts of sealant to get everything connected up and airtight, which is really nice. So all I need to do now is locate the inlet over the supercharger, push it on there and then nip up the two bolts. Right, so the outlet should be just as straightforward, but obviously first I need to remove all the masking tape I've stuck over here. So I'm gonna pull that off, clean the mating surfaces and then get this outlet installed. So again, the nice thing about this outlet is it has an O-ring sat in here, so there's no need to use any sealant. So it really is a simple case of offering it up to the supercharger and installing the four bolts supplied in the kit. Cool, nip them up and now the outlet is in place. So the last thing I need to do today is install my mini bypass, which I acquired last year. I've already included it in the budget. Uh, so I'm gonna offer that up to the flange on the back of the outlet and install it with the three bolts. And there we go, that is supercharger prep part two done. So that was really, really straightforward and everything fit absolutely perfectly, which is a credit to the quality of the G19 supercharger kit. And with all that taken care of, the supercharger is now ready to go into the engine bay 
of the MX-5. So what's coming up next? Well, we need to get, as I've just said, the supercharger mounted into the engine bay using the G19 bracket. I need to get the belt tensioner installed. I need to get the intercooler installed and I need to swap out the injectors as well. So just as I was thinking uh, we were nearly finished, there's still quite a bit to do, but I'm going to soldier on with it. And if you want to stay up to date with the build, please subscribe to the channel. And if you enjoyed the video, please do give it a thumbs up. So that's it for this episode. I'll see you in the next episode when we'll be getting the supercharger finally, after about a year, installed into the engine bay of the MX-5. So stay tuned.